All right, Maverick, uh, as it's been mentioned to you a couple of times in other interviews, your lowest score here at this tournament. Uh, what was uh, working for you so well out there today? Um, it was a really good day with the putter, that's for sure. I, I capitalized on my opportunities. Um, I was very patient today. When I was, wasn't in, in position, uh, Travis and I had a really good game plan, just dumped it to the middle of the greens and, and lag putted. And uh, you always know that uh, the last, we, we, uh, the, the other PGA Tour players out here that live in Vegas, we call 13 through 16 birdies alley. And you just, you know, you're going to have a lot of opportunities at the end of the round. So when I got through the first eight under par, I uh, figured it was gas is on the right and just uh, hit it at the flag and got some, uh, got some putts to go. All right, other questions? So as a Vegas guy now, um, you've had a lot of close calls, but no win yet. How big would it be to finally get the win in Las Vegas. That would be fun. It would definitely be easier to celebrate with friends and family now that they're all here. And it's a really fun week because I have probably 15 to 20 people out watching on a given day. If I uh, get to the weekend, it'll be a, a big crowd. And um, it's really cool for me to just get to show them what I spend 365 days a year working on and, and what I dedicate my life to. And uh, it's really fun to share with them what, uh, what I do on a daily basis. Yeah, I saw a lot of Team Mav. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. hats and shirts out there today. Yeah. Um, can you talk about your relationship with Las Vegas? H how long you've been here and why you chose to come here? Uh, so Sam Ryder on the first hole, he and I were talking about uh, the first time we played together five years ago. It was 2017. Uh, we played this tournament, we were paired together and it, it felt like yesterday, but it also feels like forever ago. And uh, that was the week that I packed up everything I owned in my mom's old Ford Explorer and drove to Las Vegas and moved <laughs> here. And I've been a, a proud resident for five years, um, a hockey fan, and just l lucky to get to play a golf course like this. TPC Summerlin right next door, TPC Las Vegas, uh, the Summit Club, Shadow Creek. There's there's a lot of great golf holes out here, and um, it's it's been awesome. My, my three brothers now live with me. We're all living in the same house together, and uh, Joseph Bramlett lives with me. He's also on tour, and uh, my, my parents are 15 minutes down the street, so it really put my roots down here. Wow. And, and what do you do when you're not focused on golf when I'm not focused on golf um, pretty much all summer I practiced every morning and then I alternate days working out at a uh, great house physical therapy it's right across the street and uh, working on my private pilot's license yeah and and you play out of summit is that correct yeah summit TPC Vegas TPC Summerlin and shadow so it's a pretty good lineup yeah great yeah. thanks hey there. Uh, can you estimate how many times you've probably played this course so oh. can you put a number on that that's a good question. Um, well, I'm home 15, week, 15 to 16 weeks a year. Uh, probably play it minimum twice a week when I'm home, so 30 by 500 to 150 times. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was talking to the tournament director, and they redid yeah. a lot of the fairways yep. and stuff, and he said that it didn't reopen until this past Monday and that you hit, like, the first ball. Yeah. Did you notice right away a difference in the course, oh, it's, the conditions? It's very, and it's very different. Um, different type of grass in the fairway, different grass in the greens. I, I wanted to be the first guy out at least on one of the nines and take the first divot, so I was here at 630 uh, ready to tee off. But um, the, it's the best turf coverage I've seen on the fairways. It's a, a more drought-resistant grass, so it'll take less water. Um, it should be better year-round, and the greens are a different strand of grass that they actually have at the Summit Club. But again, it's uh, more heat-resistant, more cold-resistant, takes less water. Um, and what I've noticed is a lot of putts that used to break to the strip don't go as much anymore as kind of a general theme. I think over time, the greens settle and everything kind of slopes down towards the strip downhill. We're a good four or 500 feet higher than, than all the casinos down there. So uh, I think when they redid the greens, some of that uh, tendency kind of went away and I think you know 15 20 years from now those putts will probably break back down towards the strip but it's just a little different you kind of sound like an agronomist here so <laughs> yeah. so but the layout's basically the same it's really just the turf and the grains and just all that so but yeah I'd say the other minor difference is they flattened out some areas on the greens which you think would make it easier but it's actually allowing them to speed up the greens and jam the pins in some more difficult spots you can put them closer to the edge like uh, the fifth hole today, there was a front left pin, which in the past was too slopey to put a hole location, but now they can kind of stick one up in the front there uh, next to that, that hazard short. And um, I'm sure we'll see a couple more new ones. Like they have a, a mid-right shelf on 18 that I think they're going to use. And uh, it's definitely subtly different, but I think overall it's going to make the course a little more challenging. Cool. Well, thanks. Yeah. One more. Got it. Yep. Since, since it is playing a little different, does that take away the 
knowledge that you've gained or that people that know the course and played the tournament a lot, does it take away a little bit of that knowledge? It, it definitely does. Um, I think there's still a familiarity with sight picture. And then there's some guys who this, this golf course is just going to reward a lot of shots from 80 to 160 yards. That's just the, the layout of the holes. So the guys that are good at that are still going to, you know, have their, their sweet spot here, but definitely have to kind of unlearn a lot of the putts that you remember seeing, um, Right. But that being said, I know how far the ball goes when it gets hot here. I've, I've played here in all temperatures and all conditions. I've seen pretty much every wind direction here. So there's still, still an advantage there. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks. Got it. Cool. Thank you, guys.